A lot of people wonder, how do you create your garlands? Do you buy them like this or do you actually create them yourselves? The answer is both. We do buy pre-made garlands, but we tend to pack them on top of each other to really give it that kind of over the top look. Uh, so here is one example of what every garland at Magnolia starts out as. It starts out with this, what we call work garland. Uh, it, it's very kind of skimpy and basic, um, but that's what we use to back up every single garland that you'll see put up in the store. So that's why we tell you never throw away a garland that you have at home. Even if it's something that's old and you're not liking anymore, you can actually take all the old decorations off of it, even if that means cutting off some things that aren't your style anymore. As long as you can be left with this, what we call a work garland, it's gonna be stronger and heavier in the center and it allows you to kind of make it as your anchor for the garland. So what we're gonna do here, we started adding our beautiful, uh, this is called the Magnificent Garland this year. Uh, we had it last year for the, I believe the first time last year, we brought it back this year and we're actually gonna layer uh, this garland and then we're gonna throw in a few more picks. So stay tuned and I'll show you step-by-step step how we create it. Okay, so now we've got our base garland, we've added the Magnificent Garland and now we're gonna add some dimension and color variation with different picks. So you can see that Magnificent Garland is a little bit lighter shade of green. And so what we're gonna do is just stick these picks into the mix. You see that adds like a different color and a different texture all throughout the garland. So we're just gonna put some of these throughout the garland. You shouldn't need a ton. I'm thinking probably like seven at the most we'll probably use because we're gonna add some more things to give it a little bit, a little bit of a step up to. So, so now we've added, um, we've added the base garland, the magnificent garland, these beautiful picks to give it some depth and dimension. And so then of course we love a good berry uh, in all of our Christmas decorations. That's a great natural way to add some of those traditional Christmas colors, the reds and the greens. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do here. We've got a beautiful red berry garland. I'm gonna fluff it out. Uh, it'll probably take two of these guys, one on each side of the mantle there. So you can see already, I've already done this on half of the garland, but you can see what a difference that red berry garland makes gives it a little bit more depth and gives you that classic Christmas look. Okay, so before we add our lights, because yes, we're gonna add some more things to this garland, we're gonna add one more pick that you might not think you can use at Christmas. Um, but this is sort of a botanical pick. Um, it's got just a little bit of different colored ferns. Uh, it even has um, a little bit of light colored, almost like a lamb's ear sort of uh, look to it down here. But what we're doing is adding it to this garland. And so it gives it a really natural botanical sort of feel that's still very much classic Christmas. So hopefully you can appreciate all the different garlands here. We've got different shades of green, different types of greenery along with those red berries that really gives you that natural Christmas kind of look. Here's a quick question. Would you store your Christmas lights in a garbage bag? Probably not, but we do here. And I'm gonna show you why. Because we have what we call snake lights. So these are, I have not touched these. This is actually me taking them out for the first time since last year. Uh, these are our snake lights and we literally just put them in a garbage bag every year because snake lights do not tangle, they do not break, and they are indoor-outdoor. So if you want to be able to get, your, to get your lights out year after year and know that they're still going to work, these are the best ones for you. So I'm going to show you how quick and these are long this is probably our 44 foot strand not just our 22 or 10 foot strand so you can see how easily you can just shake them out to start getting your lights back in order so the only one that i've gotten right i've gotten out right now is the 19 foot one we've we plugged it in for the first time all year long and it actually works and just to show you i'm not kidding you can actually step on these things and they will not break uh, so we, we sold these for several years now at the store. I think this is maybe year three. Uh, if you have not gotten yourself some lights, this is the best investment you can make in your Christmas decorating budget. So these snake lights just really top off this garland. It was already beautiful in a very natural sort of way. Um, and now it's just stunning with the snake lights in there. Um, so hopefully this was a helpful tutorial to show you how we go about creating our different garlands at the store.